Welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, happy birthday to my son. And uh, there's the there's the cake in evidence. It's even the right flavor, Simon. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, I'd better put it away out of, out, <laughs> out of my reach so that uh, I'm not tempted during the video. Um, now, I also want to wish happy birthday to Long Way to Tipperary, one of the most enthusiastic commenters on our videos and always a force for positivity. Thank you very much, Long Way, for your efforts. They're much appreciated. Um, someone whose efforts are not appreciated are scaffolders who occasionally make very loud drilling sounds outside. I wish I could film this at some part of the day where that can't happen. I wish it didn't happen. The person who commented yesterday, I can't stand the background noise. What about me? I really can't, but it may happen. So I'm just warning you now. Now, um, therefore, let's let's canter through the other things going on at the moment. The Line Sudoku app is out. Check out the links to the apps and get yourself an updated version of the Line Sudoku app, which is proving very popular. We've also, of course, got the Patreon reward out, the uh, next Peditions Trick or Treat um sudoku pack which is on patreon do join us on patreon have a go at that it is very approachable especially in the early stages um and we recommend it highly um and of course sven sudoku pad and our merchandise are all on links under the video but let's get on with it the first one is to this puzzle by a new setter called Green Earthling and the rules include normal Sudoku rules apply so we'll be putting one to nine in every row every column and every three by three box we get a couple of given digits that's nice now as well as normal Sudoku rules normal Shikaku rules apply and don't worry if you don't know that pencil puzzle I will explain those we have to divide the whole grid into rectangular regions and every region contains one of the given circles. Um, and in that circle will be a digit which shows the region's size, its number of cells. Um, digits in regions cannot repeat in this puzzle. Every region has a color matching its circle. So we're going to divide the grid into red, gray and green regions, I suppose. And two regions of the same color can't touch orthogonally. A red circle, and these are the small red circles, contains the smallest digit in its region. A green large circle contains the largest digit in its region. And a grey circle is neither the largest nor the smallest digit in its region. Well, that is a very, it's a relatively simple set of rules, but what a fascinating puzzle. Uh, green earthling is a great name as well. I mean, obviously Martians are expected to be green. Earthlings more rarely so. Indeed, I believe I've heard that there are no green mammals, but I think there are monkeys that defy that, frankly. Anyway, um, uh, a green earthling has set this puzzle. Give it a try. Um, I don't know what we're going to find as we go through it, but I'm intrigued and eager to give it a go. I'm going to restart my clock and say, let's get cracking. So, well, okay, I'm going to draw some lines in the grid because I want to separate out regions that I know are separate. So there has to be a region boundary there, obviously between any two circles, there is a region boundary. So we can do a few of those. Now, actually, I can see that there is another region boundary here because this cell can't be attached to either of these or it would border the other one's region. So it's non-gray. I don't see how it can actually be green. Yeah, OK, this is fine. I think it's got to be a red cell. Because if that, if that was green, what, what green circle would it reach in a rectangle? Not possible. That is red and is part of this region. Of course, I suppose I can colour all of the actual cells. I'm going to do it. All of the circles in their given colours because that's what we've been told is part of the rule. So there we go. Um, oh, missed two, two greys. Sorry. Right, now... What's going on at the bottom? Because these are confined. Red 
What's the rule? Red has the smallest digit in its region. Okay, this is not a one cell red region because we can't put a one in that, which would be the marker for the... Oh, it's really weird. How does red have the smallest digit in its region? If it's the size... I'll tell you how. It has to be... Does it have to be no more than four, the, num the size of a red region? If the smallest digit... Imagine you had a five cell red region. No, okay, five is possible. You could have a five cell red region. Five would be in the circle and the other four cells would be higher. I don't think you can go beyond that. So this region, well, this digit is two, three or four and the region is either two cells, three cells or four cells. Now, what, does, what happens with green? Oh, that's weird. Hang on. I'm not sure. Green could be just one cell, and the one in its circle would be the largest in its region. Okay, but now with Shikaku, you often have to ask what region does a certain cell go in? And I'm going to ask that question about this cell. What region is it in? Well, we've just said that red can't be more than five, so it's not in a region with that red circle. I think it's got to be in this, this green's region. So these are green as well. So now this is at least three. And the rule is that it is the largest digit in the region is here. Um, oh, hang on. Right. I think we've got something brilliant in the bottom row as a result. I can't put four or a bigger digit in here or else the region that this is in, which must be entirely contained in the bottom row because of this border that we've just drawn and the fact that there'll be these regions are rectangular. If we put anything four or higher in this cell, we would use up four and three and two because all the lower digits would have to go in the remaining cells in the region. So this cannot be higher than three. And we know it must be at least three because the region is three, is three big. So that is a three. This is a two, one pair. That region is complete. Um, and this is now a four. And now we know the shape and size and velocity and direction of that region as well. But we don't know what the digits that go in it are, because all we know from that four being the lowest is that all the others are higher. Now, this grey cell is in a region that is at least five big. Now, I was going to say it's got to be that area and six, but actually it could go straight up. Well, well could it? Didn't we decide that four... Oh, this red circle cannot join to the one because then the red circle wouldn't be the lowest digit in its region. Right, there's a line between those two. Um, <coughs> and what is, well, what is in all of these? Haven't we decided that red can be five at an absolute maximum? I think we have. Oh, and there must be another color in between these two reds. That can't be red or it would, it would either join the two red regions together, which is illegal, or they'd border each other, which is illegal. So this is a different color. That must be green. And that therefore connects along here. That makes it, that bounds its shape. This green area is five. So we can put a five in there. And five is the largest number in the green area. So these are one, two, three, four. Now we've got a one, two, three, four, five, quintuple in box four. This is a fascinating puzzle. It's very odd. That can't be a one. Um, now, this area is two. Well, it can't be five big or it would bump into gray. Can this? Oh, there is a, yeah, that's a one, two, three, four quad. I was going to say, can this be a five? It has to be a five because we need a five in the box. And that completes this region, all red, all with a line around. 
and all the digits in it are bigger than this five. So they're from six, seven, eight, nine, and the rest of the digits in the row are one, two, three, and four. The rest of the digits in this row are six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, this gray circle is showing the size of its region, and it's at least six. So it's either six like that or eight like that. That's the only way to get that done. Uh, whichever it is, it needs both a higher digit and a lower digit in its region. I'm going to color all these gray, but gray may not be complete there. I haven't, I can draw a line across there and there. Now, what cell is this region? What region is this cell in? Sorry, wrong way around question. Um, it's got to be in that one. There's no other region it can join on to. So this is at least three, but it's not exactly three. Bingo. This is a four. I think we have worked out that red can only go up to five. And this region, as we've bounded it, can therefore only be like that. And that is a four. And these digits are higher than four. So one, two, and three in the row go in these cells. Uh, I don't know what color these are, but... Well, this gray circle can't be a one because a gray region always has to have a bigger and a lower digit, a higher and a lower digit, sorry. Um, four, well, oh, four takes four, and this is Sudoku now. I haven't done much of that in this Shikaku puzzle, but that makes that a one, two, three group. That's a four. There is a five in these cells. Oh, and they've all gone red. Now, what region is this cell in? It is not in this red region because it would then abut this red region, but it must be in a rectangular region, so it's in, a, it's in the gray region. I think that has to be right, so we can rule that off. Um, and this is now an eight because we know the size of the gray region. I was tempted to make this grey, but of course this grey could go downwards. Now, hang on though, this can't be a 1. So this red region is 2 or 3, and it must go right. And now, now we've limited this cell. It can't go north, so this is a 6. That's the only 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 region that we can create there, I think. And, and we can color it in we can block it in with lines and we're doing okay here we're, we're creating shapes they seem to be working we're taking it easy we're making sure that what we're doing is possible and and essential now that's not a five anymore so it's in a two three or four region and what about there's almost a bit of a dearth of circles in the north section of the puzzle. Although, no, what region is that in? Because this grey, this, this red is bounded, isn't it? I should do the bottom border. Right. This must be in grey. And grey here is therefore six or eight again, I think. Uh, the fact that there's a nine in the box uh, doesn't tell me anything. And the rest of these cells, well, okay, what's this in? Well, it could be in that grey region, otherwise it's in this green region. No, I, I don't know. Um, I suppose we could divide up like that, that, and that. We couldn't. Okay, this cell cannot be green. Oh, but green would not only abut green, but it would put a six in the same box as a six. So these aren't, well, neither of these, no, this one isn't green. I can't say it about this one yet. This one isn't green. That's got to be gray. So the gray two or three is extending this way. And look, now we've got a two, three pairs. So that's a one. 
Oh, this is weird. This is just strange. I don't know which of these gray or red is two or three. Red will be obeyed and gray would be a... Oh no, it must be gray that's three because gray regions always need one higher and one lower digit apart from the circle. They, they mandatorily need three digits at least in. I didn't know that until now. Right, we're away now, I think. We're, we're getting stuff done. That is gray. Oh, what happened there? I just killed the digits by mistake. Anyway, let's fill those in. This one is six seven eight or nine and that that fulfills the rules for gray the rules are fine for red there the rules are going to be fine for red here because one two and three can't go in its region we're going to get a nine in this group yeah okay we're obeying the rules for every shape so far as long as we don't make this one two three four five six which we couldn't anyway um now everything in this read in this area of the puzzle is either green or could add on two cells to gray so all of those are green and now we've got a weird six eight pair in the row oh which is resolved by this six ah excellent okay so all these shapes at the bottom are now finished in terms of what they look like if not obeying their rules this one will obey its rule and this one just needs a nine in the shape and it will obey its rule, which is unsurprising. I don't really know how to use that information yet, but now at the top of the grid, this baby is, we know that red can't have a number more than five in its circle. So five won't work from this position. It could be two or it could be three, or it could even be four. I don't know how to deal with that. So this one now can't be a two. Right, this is a three, that's because of Sudoku. This is a three or a four. So its shape must go into that cell. Um, it's either three across or, well, four could go either way. Um, I don't know what to do. Now, this can't have the 9 in because it's the biggest number in its region. I'd forgotten that. So, what does the 9 go in? It's got to go into that grey region, hasn't it? Can't get into the red. Yep, that's grey. Um, and then these cells, well, this cell, what region is that in? That's quite amusing. It can't get into red because red is maxing at four. It can't reach that because it would be a 10 shape and it would abut a gray. It can't reach these, so it's part of gray, which has now suddenly become eight cells because we have to keep it rectangular. Eight is clearly the maximum once we've got that shape going. So this is an eight. That's good, that's good. And the region has a nine in it, which it needed. Now, these two, well, they're going to have to be red because the only alternative is grey and then they'd be abutting another grey region. So they're both red. That doesn't mean red stops. Or well, it does mean red stops there because this can't be a five. So there we go. That's a four. We draw a line there. That's interesting. We've still got... Okay, what region is that in? If it was in grey, it would abut another grey and be a 10-cell region. Loads of reasons that's not possible. So it's part of green. This is not a 4, but it is the highest digit in its shape. And it can't be 4, 8 or 9 by Sudoku. But, okay, well, its shape either has a two cell side and is therefore an even number or it could have been three by three and but but we're not allowed to put nine there so this is an even number of more than more than two so it must be six but i don't know whether the green shape goes there or there yet maybe that's obvious i can't see it 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 does one or the other i was gonna say Haha, -ha, what's this in? But actually, it doesn't have to be grey, because it could be a red four. 
Okay, I'm going to try and do some Sudoku now. Let's see how we get on with that. That can't be six or eight. This can't be five. That can't be nine. This has become a three. That doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, I can finish that green region. Um, the first column. Yeah, okay. Seven, nine pair at the bottom. That's a six. Uh, there's a six up here somewhere. That does make me wonder whether it's going to end up in the corner. Now, these are all bigger than four. And these two can't be six or eight. Nor can this... Well, no, this can't be nine or six. But again, it's bigger than four. That's weird. I mean, it's weird how this puzzle gets populated. These are from two, three, five. Um... Now that's not a nine, but there has to be, oh no, there, sorry, I've got it wrong. This is not gray, this is green. There has to be no nine in this region. Eight has to be the highest digit. There's no nine or eight in this whole part of this region. So nine and eight in this box must be in these cells. And therefore this one in the corner is not a nine. And now, oops, typed the wrong digit. Now we don't have a seven here or a six. So this is a five, eight, nine, triple. Um, I don't know the ordering, weirdly. Now, we've got, I don't know. I mean, these will probably fill in later. Let's look up this column. I don't know. Um, one, two, three, six. What should I be looking at? This cell. Yeah, that's, neither of those are an eight. Ah, this is an 8-5 pair in its box by Sudoku. So that's not an 8. The 8 in this box is here in row 4. Um, this is 7 or 9. So the 6 in this row is in grey. That's so strange. Um, I think these conclusions are all right, but none of them are kind of working in the way that I thought this puzzle would, really. Now, 9 can't be in that region, in its grey region. Oh, 6. I still haven't worked out whether the 6... If the 6 went that way, this would be a 5. I think that would work all right with a 6 there. No, hang on. If the 6 went that way... This would be a 5, and that would be a 4. If the 6 goes up here, one of these is a 3, and the other is a 6. Well, it has to be that one that's a 3. I don't know. I don't, I don't see how, if, how I know that yet. That's, I may be missing something very clear there, but I'm not seeing it. So I shall proceed onwards. Um... That's not a six, four, six, three. That's not a three. Uh, I don't, oh, come on, come on, think about it. It's the, the rules aren't, the, the rules about red, gray and green aren't helping me at this point, actually. And I mean, I think I'm gonna have to deal with these boxes, these, these regions, and I don't know how to do it. That's, okay, six is the biggest in its region. That's important. That's important because if the region goes up here, that is 654321. That has to be a 987 triple. Looks like it works, but it's very constraining. Okay, what if the 6 is in this region? Then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And one, two, three would also have to be in grey some... Oh, what does that mean? Oh, I'll tell you something. Um, three must be in... Yeah, wherever the six region points, six is the highest digit. It must contain six, five, four, three, two, one. So... These digits, which are in the 6th region, can't be 5 or 3. They're from 1, 2, 4. Where is 3 in this 6th region? 
it's in one of those two cells because we've got threes here and here. Where is four in the region? That is definitely in one of these two cells because we've got four there and there and in the top corner. Um, is this going to yield anything? I don't know. We've got a three there by Sudoku and a th by by what we're doing. Sorry, not by by Shikaku, I suppose. Now, OK, let's think about this. Can this really be? I just don't know. I don't know what this can be. That's really irritating. I just don't know. Um... Can this be 987? Ah, 8 would be there. That would be 7. This would be 1, 2, 3, 5. I'm just wondering if it creates an impossible virtual X-Wing, which is a very complicated thing to be suddenly looking for in in a puzzle of this sort, which which hasn't been, it's been very clever, but it hasn't been very difficult in, in the sense of any single one step up to this point. But I'm not seeing that this is easy. This is really weird. Um, one of these green shapes is impossible. Maybe there's... No, there is no... Um, red touching red or grey touching grey or green touching green problem going to emerge. So that, that can be discounted by me in my brain. OK, red would be the lowest number in its group of cells. but also the size of its region. Gray would be a medium number. So let's just briefly think about this being five cells big again with, with a five there and a six here. That would make this a seven, nine, eight, triple. And these would be one, two and three. Um, these would, ah, in, okay. I mean, I've got something, it's not huge. Okay, if these cells are green, they're part of one, two, three, four, five to make up the green cage. If, on the other hand, they're gray, which is the only alternative, they're going to have to be lower than the five over here because all the higher digits have gone in these cells. So they're always from one, two, three, four, five. So that is one, two, or four. And we've now got a triple. I don't know its color, but that's what it is. And this is therefore from three or five. And, oh, I want to say it can't be five. If that is, if this is gray, that's a five. If this is green, I tell you what, this, this digit is also from three or five because it's in the green and it can't be one, two or four. So we've got a sort of triple going on, a nut two triples and a seven, eight, nine set there now in the box. And that becomes a six. This is so strange. Uh, this is a three, four, five triple. That has fixed this triple at the bottom in red. Five, nine, eight. This is now a three, four pair. One, two, four, five, three, eight. This is a naked single. It sees that one, two, four, triple. And as well as five, three, eight, it sees six and nine. So that's a seven. This must be six. We've got a one, two pair over here. Well, oh, we've, sorry, the nine at the bottom told me that this is a seven. That gives me nine and seven in box four. That's a nine. Okay. Now, this can't be seven. I'm a bit confused. OK, where's 9 in this column? It's not allowed to be in this region because that's already got a 9 in. So it's there. Um, these are from 235. I still don't know the colour here. Maybe it's obvious. I'm sorry. I, I can't tell. Um, now, down here, this is a 5-4 naked pair. It sees 9, 8, 7, 6 in the row, 1, 2, 3 in the box. That is a 5-4 pair. That's going to do a lot of my numbers. 
appropriately. Two and one. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. That hasn't, that's not new. This three, five pair, I don't know. That can't be four. I mean, can it be that this still hasn't resolved this grey and red shapage up at the top? It's so weird if that's true. Um, four, nine, six, eight. One of these is two. Oh, we mustn't have any repeats in this box. And look at that versus that. It's so obvious. Dull. Right, seven and eight there. So there is an eight somewhere here. We mustn't have another seven in this. So the seven in the region, in the box is there. These are from one, three, five. Now in the top row, four, seven, nine, eight. Why is this not helping more? Surely these have to be green, right? What would happen if those were green? Then this would be a five with a six and a one, two, three triple. Okay, let's not panic. Let's just take this carefully. Um, oh, look, the repeated digits three and that cell is a five. Let's just use the killer regions that I'm creating. That's the way. Okay, now this one. No, this one. No, okay, they can't have repeated digits in. So, how would that be green? One, two, three, four, five there. And this group of cells would have to be from four, seven, eight, nine, which is fine for that to be red. And they could be. Maybe that is what it's going to be. That's so strange. Right. If these were green up here, then this is going to have to be a six and that would have to be a three. But that's fine, as long as two and one don't go into its region. And this would be a six. I, I'm quite at a loss. Um, hmm. Oh, look, there's a five X wing there. How hard is that to see? That's absolutely vital because now five, that uses up the fives in columns eight and nine. You can't put five in this gray circle in the corner. So they can't be gray and they must be green. That's how to do it. That's incredible. Well, I mean, tell me if there was something more obvious than that. I find that cruelly difficult. Right, this isn't allowed. Where can this be? It must be in red. This can't be more than a five by the by the rule about well by the combination of the two rules about oops featuring its size and and the rules about no lower digits. So that's a three. This is a six grey area. And I can put six in the corner finally. Okay, I've got all the numbers in the circles. Now it's just Sudoku and obeying the rule. So two there. We mustn't put one here. Um, the three in the top row is now there. These are from one, two, five. And one of them is a five. Now let's look down this column. We've got a one, two pair. One, two, three, six. That can't be six. This one is four, eight or nine. How about this column? Three, six, four. Don't don't say it can still be difficult. Oh, that five is looking across here. Um, this has to be a one because we can't put a one in the red in this row. OK, that's very helpful. That is very helpful. That's actually going to get us done. Right. We've got a two, eight, nine triple in the box. This is a seven, four pair that obeys the rule. That's a nine. That's an eight. The nine fixes some triples. Yeah, this is working now. Eight, 
nine two. That two is helpful, as I suspected. And now, and now we're suddenly finished. Oh, that's been an epic journey. What a brilliant part. Oh, it didn't give me a tick. Oh, that's because I haven't finished two cells. Come on, give me a tick. There we go. 31 minutes. That's really interesting, Green Earthling. I don't know. I have a feeling I've made a real meal of that. But it's a meal I enjoyed a lot. A bit like chocolate cake. Um, and <laughs> well worth doing. I hope you had a go at that puzzle. That was great fun. And uh, yeah, happy birthday again to long way to Tipperary and to my son. And I will hope to see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching and bye for now.